everyone, I'm Haley. And I'm Nathan. And today we're doing part two of the box sent to us by a subscriber in the UK, Alkin. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Um, today we're specifically going to be trying a bunch of gummies, or as you might know them as jellies or sweeties or... Were there any other words for that? Um, I know a lot of times there's wine gums wine or... Gums. So maybe gums, but... Fruit gums. Yeah. Um, as well as actual gum. Yes. So we thought it'd be fun to do all these together, plus this soda, oh, yeah. <laughs> or drink, tropical fruit, sun exotic sparkling drink, mm -hmm. all together, um, because Alkin sent us all of these chewy gums, or gummies, gummies or... <laughs> or yeah, yeah, you get the idea. Yeah. Because he knows how much Haley loves them, how much we love them, and he really loves these styles of sweets as well. So Great. he really wanted us to try more varieties. Yeah, I love that. So thank you for doing that. I like when people think specifically of us and what we like. It's really yeah. cool. Yeah, and like Haley said, he also threw in a Hubba Bubba gum, as well as this bubbly. Angelo? Yeah, Angelo bubbly. Yeah. Something like that. So we got a couple yeah. gums to try. Yeah, that's neat. And I think we are actually going to start with the Hubba Bubba. Yes. So we're just going to jump right on into this. All right. Now, we grew up on Hubba Bubba. Yes, and these too, like the tape version. It's really fun. Yeah, but I'm not sure if we've ever had snappy strawberry no, as the flavor. we haven't. And snappy. Why is it snappy? Yeah, so this might be a UK-specific flavor. Maybe. Yeah. Um, All right. Just like I remember. Yep. All right, let's do... Where's the beginning? <laughs> there it is. So if I remember correctly, yeah, it breaks off. Yeah, you just squeeze it, and, and then... you get a piece, and then you got to open it back up, pull it back out, <laughs> and hopefully not pull the whole thing out. Yeah, that always kind of was a little funny, but it, it's really fun. Yeah, kid especially. It is fun. Okay. All right. So hubba bubba going down memory lane, childhood favorite. With a new flavor. New flavor. Here we go. Mm. Wow, mm -hmm. it is like childhood. Yeah. That's so fun. Mmm, that flavor. Mm-hmm. Is it snappy? Yes. Okay. Snaps for, <laughs> for that. Snaps for strawberry? Yeah. That's a good strawberry flavor. I like it a lot. So far, the flavor is still there. Mm-hmm. So far. Yeah, I remember these childhood, like, novelty gums like this usually loses the flavor pretty quickly. Yeah, they do. But whatever. Who yeah. cares? Yeah. We all enjoyed them as kids. And I love how there's actually like speckly bits throughout the uh, the gum here. Yeah. Are you losing the flavor yet? Not yet. I'm I don't starting think so. to. Maybe that initial like really strong flavor. Yeah. It's fading, I guess. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Okay. So while that's fading, let's figure out the flavor. flavor. Figure out the flavor. <laughs> the rating. The rating. Yes. I'm doing a nine. I'm doing a ten. I liked it. I think it's perfect. I am kind of disappointed that I'm already losing the flavor. You're not supposed to rate it like an adult. You're supposed to rate it like a child. Well, I was disappointed when I was a kid. Oh, That's you why were... I pretty much went through half this roll in one sitting because I kept losing the flavor and I kept popping more. Well, I just did that because that was fun. <laughs> to, like, put it all in your mouth. So, yeah, fun flavor. You're too critical. I am too yeah. critical. That's why I'm now rating candy, sweets, yeah. chocolate, yeah. snacks. Such an adult thing to do. Yeah. All, all right. right. What we did not think of is where do we put it? <laughs> in the bag. All right. A little spit bag. You know where it's going. You're not going to see it going there. Mm -hmm. It's there. All right. Keep it around because we have more gum to do. All right. On to the next Do you want to have your own? Yes. Might as well. I feel like it's going to be hard to split one of these. <laughs> We've taken bites out of things before. Yeah. So this is bubbly. Nice little drop of gum. Drop of gum. Yes. I don't know if I call it a drop. A gum By, drop. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. It's not a gum drop. By Angelo. I think it's just bubblegum flavor. Okay. <gasps> Blows bigger bubbles. Ooh. Challenge accepted. All right. Because you didn't see. I blew a bubble in the last one. I, I missed it. I'm sorry. Throughout the uh, the gum here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I blew a bubble. You mm -hmm. have to work it up to get it actually uh, Yeah, that's pretty solid. Mm -hmm. mm. But yeah, good bubblegum flavor. You know what? I'll just put it in there then. Good thinking. Yeah, that was the other thing about those... Uh, mm-hmm. Hubba Bubba rolls. It's mm -hmm. like you didn't have a wrapper to put the gum in when you were done. Right. Mm. This is good. I like gum and I haven't had it for like 10 years. 
Somebody told me that gum is made out of parts that make up plastic, and ever since then I've kind of been like, I don't want gum. Mm-hmm. But... It's usually unnecessary sugars anyway, unless it's sugar-free. Right. But then it's not fun. No, it's not. <laughs> All right. Can you blow a bubble yet? Mm-hmm. <laughs> not very big. Almost. I'm not working very well. Maybe you have to do it for a while. Yeah. Just, just give us a few seconds. Moments later. It's not working that great. Is there a trick to this Angelo blows bigger bubbles, bubbly bubble gum? I think you just have to chew it longer. All right. I think it kind of works up a, that texture, that good solid bubble texture. Well, I think what would work best maybe is moving to the drink. There you go. Continue to chew the gum while we get the drink ready. Okay. And then we'll try it, then we'll rate the gum, then we'll go back to the drink. So keep things moving. I'll keep trying to blow a bubble. Okay. This is Sun Exotic Sparkling Tropical Fruit. Mm -hmm. So is this a specific brand that you guys have in the UK or is this like a generic brand? Because we have generic stuff of Coca-Cola and Pepsi and all that kind of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, I guess Sun Exotic is the brand itself. But yeah, okay. seems like it. Mm -hmm. And after our last drink video, uh -huh. where we just both shared out of cans, several of you said, you should get a glass. Ooh, and, what a novel idea. Yes. And Haley said she wants to pour it because she's going to pour it really well. I'm just going to not get rid of the bubbles when I pour it. Okay. All right. Sounds nice. Yeah. They all sound the same though. Ooh, it's a nice... It's got a good, yeah, like, good yellowy, orangey. Kind of a tangerine color. Um, ooh. Oh, that smell. Yeah, I can smell it from ooh. all the way over there. That's great. It definitely smells like tropical fruit. Mm-hmm. Still, that one failed. Last one I did was pretty good. Mmm. Oh, I've never blown a bubble since having a mustache. You take no fruit. <laughs> um, I'm just afraid it's gonna pop and then when I suck it in, mm. maybe some hairs will go in with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in this video, I will be shaven. <laughs> Shaved? Shaven? Shaven. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Huh. Mm -hmm. Ah, I used to always do the thing where you like, you close the bubble and then you put it in your mouth. Oh. That was really fun. <laughs> Alright, I'm giving up. I'm having fun. There you go. Good job. Definitely gets better bubbles as the time goes by. I will give it to this brand. It did not lose the flavor the whole entire time no, I was chewing it. it's still really good. Yeah. So, good job, Angelos. Even though we can't blow really big bubbles with this at the moment, the flavor lasted. Yep. Okay. Um. Okay. There we go. I'm giving that gum a 10. Yep. Go with a 10 too. Yes. Uh, this is good bubble gum. Yes. And bubble gum that had long lasting flavor. It did. It didn't even advertise as long lasting flavor <laughs> and it had long lasting flavor. Definitely longer than the, uh, the tape version. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So now on to the Sun Exotic. I would drink out of the can if you want to drink out of sure. the glass. Why not? Oh, that smells so good. Hmm. Hang on. Yeah. I got some bubble gum flavor in my mouth. Yeah. Like that cleanse. We have the same type of tea from the last video that uh, we did last week. Yes. I like it. It's very sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet. Very sweet. I will have to say for a sparkling drink, mm -hmm. Now, for us, sparkling drinks are different than carbonated drinks. True. So I wonder if it's the same. Yeah, is this different is this, terms? Yeah, a carbonated drink or is this a sparkling drink like sparkling water? Because if so, I like this. Yeah. I'm not usually a fan of sparkling water. Right. Usually they're more bland. Uh, this is a punch of flavor. Um, so it makes me wonder if it's just more of like what we know is like soda and yeah carbonated beverages but it's good i kind of like the flavor it's a good tropical fruit flavor yeah i know because it's got that really like it's like it has the um the orange like it really has a good base of the yeah. orange flavor but then you get like pineapple in there it also says as uh apple guava and passion fruit oh and then there's mango oh i got some mango yeah i was picking that up i think that was the first note that i got okay okay yeah definitely i can see that now um and banana yeah that's a good combination I like that. That's very nice. Yeah, very good. Very Just good. Got a little bit. 
Yeah, that's neat. Yes. All those flavors are very clear in there. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. What uh... I know. It's tough because for me it was very sweet. Yeah. The flavor is really good, but it's super sweet. I don't know. I wouldn't be able to drink a whole can, but I usually can't drink a whole can of soda anyway. Right. And the sweetness for me kind of like dies off after a while. It's like it, it tastes sweet, but it doesn't linger sweet in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, you're very correct on that. So I think I know what I'm going to rate it, if you do. I do. Three, two, one. I did a nine. Exactly. Okay. So I feel like there are just a few little things about it that didn't make it 10 worthy. Yeah. But it was still very, very good. Yeah. Um, Thank you for sending us a drink. Uh, I think the only other UK drink we've had so far is Rabina. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have another drink. And spoiler, the next video, we'll actually have another drink. Ooh, we won't tell you what it is. We won't tell you what it is, <laughs> but make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell notification icon so you do not miss that next video because you're gonna to wanna to see it. Yes. <laughs> okay. So moving right along from this guy. And I like having the um, suggestion of the glass so that you can really see the drink. That was, yeah. that was fun. Yeah. It felt more... Um... Posh? Yeah. <laughs> I'll go with that. Okay. I guess that's probably a good word. Yeah. All right. So now you can go ahead and pick the first... Let's see what this even is. Gummy. I'm gonna, we're going to call them gummies because that's yeah. what we're used to calling them. Yeah. All right. Round trees. Jelly Tox. That seems really cool. Yeah. We weren't sure where to put this at first, but the fact that it said jelly made us think possibly... Along with the a, rest of yeah. these, yes. And they are hard, but you can tell that they do squish a little bit. So, okay, I these, think we did it right. These are kind of like what I'm familiar with as a gumdrop. Sort of. They are very similar. Yeah, a little bit smaller. Yeah, there's different flavors too. You have the same. Get a new one. There's like an orange, I think, in there. Oh, Purple. I'm getting a bunch of sugar. I know. Oh, you're getting messy. There you go. Oh, lemon. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to go with the orange. Okay. I'll do the pinkish one. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like it better than a gumdrop. Yeah, me too. I do. It's more uh, more solid. I like that. I like I... that the outside's solid, but the inside's chewy. Yeah, and I like... Um... Do you want any more? Yeah, they're really, they're good. I like these a lot, actually. I like how small they are, too. Mm -hmm. Really neat. But the amount of the uh, like sugar crystals on the outside is just great. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. I mean, it's not sour at all. It's no. not like that sour sugariness. Sh no, it's, just... it's not. It's nice just nice and sugary. Yeah. Mm. I don't just want to just like suck on that for a while. Let us know how long have the jelly tots been around since Round Trees has been around since 1881. Yeah. Is this a long standing sweet that they've made or is this something newer? Yeah. Okay. I like it. We should rate it. Yeah. I'm going to go for a 10. Yeah. Ooh, 10. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was great. That was really good. So, moving right along. Your turn. My turn. All right, I'm gonna go with the next guy in front. This is Barney Jack's Natural Wine Gums. Yeah. Best of British Classic Sweets. Barney Jack's. I like that name. And I, I like that there's like a bulldog on it or something. I didn't yeah. get a good look. Is that a bulldog? Yeah, he's a bulldog. Yeah, with Definitely. a monocle. He's wearing a monocle. Oh, he's so fancy. And then he has like the uh, Union Jack bow tie. Cool. All right, um, have we had wine gums before? Yes. Okay. Yes, but they were in a, um, a sleeve more so, weren't they? Right, and I questioned if they actually had wine flavors to yeah. them. And we were told no, right. they just had the style as a different wine, whether okay. it be a Pinot Grigio right. and stuff like that. A red that. and a white and a Yeah, else. but it yeah. had a fruit flavor. Yeah, those so, were good. The wine gums, they were great. So, so These are shaped really fun. Yeah. I want to, actually, I want like a purple one, I think. Okay, like the dark one? Yeah. This says Claret? Is that what this is? Yeah. Claret? 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 Hawk? Claret? Hawk? Uh, what? There's more? Yeah. I have a hawk. I have a port. Ooh, that flavor looks good too. Yeah. Because we're not big wine people. We're not wino winos? Winies? Wine. We're, we're not, not wine connoisseurs. No. But some of these are familiar to me for uh, wine mm. flavors. See, I have no clue. I think I need a different flavor. I think I had more of that color the first time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a green one this time. Mm. Hmm. What this one's name? I like that one. The green one was stiffer of a, a gummy. I think it's the shape because I noticed that too going to the the one that you had first. Hmm. What was green like? It was good. Because what kind of wine would that be? Well, I don't think it's flavored like wine. I know. Like I was saying it reminds me of a color. green apple or something like hmm. that. 
Yeah. Uh, we have a lot to get through. Yeah, we do. I'm going to try the yellow. This one says... I like that green one. It was more of like a lime. I can't read this one. Okay. It says C-H-A-P-L-I-S. Let me know what that is. All right. Yeah. They were good. I could easily just say 10 again. Yeah, those were good flavors. Um, Definitely. I like how the flavor was strong. I like mm -hmm. the different texture of mm. chewiness, depending on what shape you got. Yeah, cool, good. We'll put that over here. And I'd have to say, I really like the packaging a lot on that one. I think that's my favorite packaging of the things that we have here so far. Yeah, I, I think I'm there with you on that one. Yeah. All right, your turn to pick the next one. All right, let's, uh, let's just keep working back. Okay. So these are, again, round trees, fruit gums. Are what? there like fun shapes in there? I think so. This is a strawberry. Oh wow, that's a lot smaller than I expected. I know, there's so many of them. So this is purple, but it looks like a lemon. So I'm not sure what that's saying. And you have like a lime. Yeah, I have a lime and a, lemon? a citrus wedge, I'm gonna call yeah, that. Yeah, there you go. We made the mistake of thinking something was a lemon when it was actually an orange. Yeah, we feel really bad about that. Yeah, we're just gonna call this a citrus wedge. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's solid. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah. I don't mean to cut you off, but no. I like it, but that is hard. Are they supposed to be this hard? I think so. Because I've had the Haribo like gummy bears that have been this hard before. Honestly, it's not my favorite to have them this hard. Okay. I kind of like it. It's like it, they don't go away as quickly. I like that. Maybe you're supposed to suck on them a little bit, soften mm -hmm. them up and then chew them. Possibly. Did you have this flavor? It's yummy. What do you think it is? Mm, black currant. Mm. That's why I like it. <laughs> yeah. We're huge black currant fans. Mm -hmm. Is that what a black currant looks like? I have no idea. <laughs> we really don't even know what that looks like. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. Are you having any more? I'm done. All right. Well, for me, anyway, that gets a 10 again. I'm going low. I'm going Ooh, seven. Wow. And that is because of the stiffness. Okay. See, I really like that. And honestly, just weird preferences that I have, I'd almost go into like the 11 for that because I really like that stiffness to it. I like that I have to work on it a little bit. Yeah, not my favorite thing. Flavors were really good. Flavors are great. Yeah, I would say the flavors were spot on. Um, that's probably what kept it from going lower than a seven. Mm -hmm. Oh. But yeah, not my favorite. Okay, well I'll have to hold back. Have at it. All right. Okay, I think, well we have Haribo as the last two. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with the giant straws. Straws. It says straws. Doesn't say mm. strawberry. It's just mm -hmm. straws. That's cool. Kids and grown-ups love it so. Ooh, let's see. You're the kid. I'm the grown-up. I think we've had these before. Yeah, but I think not. Not like out of a Haribo bag, though. No, I think they came from a quick mix. Yes. And it was sent to us in a British candy box. Exactly. So, they are. Mm, smells like straw. Yeah, it smells like straw. <laughs> They are big, like they're very they elongated. Are. I almost like feel like we should split one. Nah. 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 Oh man, these are more solid, aren't they? No. Okay. Good. No, super chewy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Totally different texture. Mm-hmm. I was afraid you were gonna like break your tooth when you put it in your mouth like that. No, no. Mm. That's the kind of chewy that I like when it comes to gummies. Okay. This one isn't my favorite texture. I think this is the kind I don't care for, where it's um, I don't know. It sort of breaks apart when it when you chew it. I like the ones that are a little more chewy. Okay. And honestly, the ones that like get stuck in your teeth. Not that I like that part, but. Okay. I'm not sure. Taste is good. I'm not sure. There's some, unless there was like an aftertaste from my teeth. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I know what you mean. I'm not sure. There was a weird kind of aftertaste with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what you mean. I can get that too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe not our favorite. No, not the best one that we've tried so far. Mm -mm. Um. Mmm. Oh, that's tough. Three, two, one. I'm doing an eight. Ah, that's my lowest. I'm so sorry. I did a six, and that is because of the texture as well as the flavor. I think the aftertaste is what kept me from going to ten. Okay. There was something weird about it. Yeah. I'm not sure how to describe it. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment down below. I like the initial flavor, but yeah, yeah. It, it kind of like something fell off at the end. Yeah. I think it's probably the best Haribo product I've had. Oh, really? See, yes. I like other ones too. Well, we'll see. There's this too. Yeah. And this looks fun. There's like a whole bunch of different things in here. Uh, yeah. So this is a Haribo Star Mix. And I think on the back there, it actually says it is fruit flavors, cola flavors, and sweet foam gums. 
What is a sweet foam? I guess it's the one with the, has the white yes. thing on it. And you like foam gummies. Oh, yes. Oh, is it like that? I think so. Ooh, I think it has at least half of that on right. it. Right. Yeah. All right. I think we should have a cola. Okay. And Ooh, that's cool. They're really cute. I like that it actually looks like a cola, like that's half drank. I know. Like, I love that design. That's yeah. so cool. Right. Ooh, good flavor. Mm-hmm. Definitely okay. a pretty good cola flavor. This is more of the Haribo texture I'm familiar with, where mm. your teeth kind of bounce when mm. they chew. I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah, not the best one either. I like when you could still bite through it. Yeah. This is neat. It has like a ring on it. Or it is a ring. So is this like a peach ring? I don't think so. Oh, there's different colors. I think this might be the fruits. Oh, okay. Yeah. So these are the just fruit flavors. Okay. Yeah. It's like... Oh, yeah. Will you marry me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you could have gotten it all the way up there. I, I could have. You want to eat it now? I don't care. <laughs> All right, so that's good. Use it in a heart. So like this... you gave me a ring and I gave you a heart. Oh, mm -hmm. we're like meant to be. Mm -hmm. So this is the one with the uh, sweet foam. Yeah, the sweet foam on the back. Yeah. So I love that foam texture. I know it like wrinkles. <laughs> yeah, I know. All, right. All right. Hmm. Very sweet, sweet foam. Mm-hmm. Do I like that? I like the foam side. I don't necessarily like the gummy gum mm -hmm. side. Gotcha. But that's a fun little mixture. I, I like that it has different flavors. Like, and it has the bears in there too. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, it has everything from the foam to the cola to the, what, what would you find? It has an egg in there. There's an egg? It's supposed to be, yeah. Oh, oh, like one of the yolky ones. Yeah. Yeah, we've had like giant ones yeah. from candy stores around here. Yeah. Is there only one egg in there? There might be. I couldn't find another one. Okay. See, I like that one. That's I like more that. more foam. Yeah, more foam to the gummy. Yeah, I can see that. So I think we need to do an overall bag oh, yeah. rating. Mm -hmm. um, All right. All right. Three, two, one, eight. Seven. Okay. I think there were some strong contenders in this bag. Yeah. And there were some weaklings in this bag. But <laughs> weaklings? Yes. Uh, they weren't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> well. Compared to a strong contender, yes. Yeah, it's true. But overall, I think it was a decent um, mix bag. Yeah, I really like the designs. That like kicked it up a little bit more for me. But that, yeah, like what you said, the type of gummy where it's like you can't bite through it, you bounce off of it. Yeah. That's a little tough. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's not as enjoyable. Um, still really neat. Yeah. So that is it for this portion. Mm -hmm. Now we get to decide what was our favorite. I thought the drink was really cool. Right, so we got the uh, some exotic drink. Mm -hmm. I think... Oh, the wine gums were very... Oh, wait, wait, no, jelly tots. Those are my favorite. Right, the wine gums were cool. Right? Yeah. Or no, 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 it's the other little ones. You like the fruit gums. Yes, there we go. That's I, the one I like the best. <laughs> you both like the jelly tots a lot. Yeah. And then the uh, the different gum. The gum, that yeah. was fun. No, yeah, this was fun. It was fun. It was a little bit uh, more unique from what we normally do. Yeah, yeah, I uh, like that. Yeah, normally we get like one or two of these chewy types of candies in a box. Now mm -hmm. we did a whole video with them. Yeah, we could like compare a whole bunch. I think for as far as like which one does it best, I think Roundtree knows how to do it. Yeah, I'm with you there. Yeah. yeah. They just, and they have multiple different styles too. And each of them is great. Like, so I think they just, they know how to do their gummies, jellies. Yeah. Sweeties. I wonder though, is... Uh, Barney Jacks, what else they carry in the way of yeah. fruit gums. Yeah. So, so those were good too. Yeah, they were really good. Um, really, uh, once again, Alkin, thank you for sending us this portion of the box and for allowing us to taste some of your favorites. Hopefully we did you justice with some of our ratings. <laughs> I know you want us to give them all tens. Uh, sadly, we did not. Um, yeah. But but I think we actually rated these higher all around than we did in the last video with all the chocolates that we ate. Quite possibly. I feel like we were higher on pretty much everything. Yeah, quite possibly. Really, that is it for today. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if mm -hmm. you haven't already. Give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. Yeah. And until next time. So long. Farewell. Namadie. By Alkin, our subscriber from the UK. Yes. Somewhere. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I should try that again. Yeah. Okay. Today we're going to specific... Thumbnail. Ready? Sure. I was not ready. <laughs> I feel like we're probably picking up a lot of like...
Round trees just the oh. <laughs> Honestly it's not my favorite. <clears throat>